Hello everybody, Mr. Gorel here coming to you with another video. It's going to be a toy video. It's going to be amazing. Because I have the greatest character who ever live. Got yourself the Marvel Legend What If Doctor Strange Supreme. Finally, you know the power. The majesty that is Doctor Strange. But not to be outdone, another magic user that I love is Doctor Fate. You got the McFarlane DC Multiverse. We're gonna pop these beauties out of the box. We're gonna see what they're all about. So let's just jump right into it. All right, now let's take a look at him. There he goes, nice good look at his face there. He's got a little bit of those like sunken eyes. If I can get it to focus, let me see if I can get it to focus. There we go. Power has corrupted him. Well, I guess sadness has corrupted him. Here's what he looks like. Get some of that leather detail. A little, a little botch on the paint there, but that's all right. Some more down here, some more of the detail. I mean, I'm a huge Doctor Strange fan, so I'm gonna say it's awesome no matter what. Get into the pants here. And then you got the boots. Little buckles on the side is nice. I mean, they're pretty, I mean, what are you gonna do with boots? And then if you're worried, if you're wondering about movement for posing or pictures, uh, up and down's a little bit, not so great. He does seem to have a cut in the bicep. He's got the crazy elbow bend. We got pretty good movement of the wrist. And on the legs, kick himself in the butt, obviously. And then he's also got an ankle, but I don't think there's a toe. All right. And then he came with this cloak. And it just snaps right into the back there. It just snaps right into the back there. There we go. And you can see the cloak there. There we go. I'll give you a little bit more detail. That's what the inside looks like. It's a rubber material, but it's pretty cool. I don't mind it. And then like I was saying, he does have a hand I'm not sure if it can be in any hand, but the hand with the magic, where all the magic takes place. So you can replace his hand. I wish it was kind of a little bit bigger, but that's still pretty cool that you get to have the magic. So there he is in all of his glory. I think it's an awesome toy. This is actually my first Doctor uh, Strange figure, being a big fan. And I was kind of waiting for him to come out. My only complaint is, and it's kind of a big one actually, is that my cape won't stay on. Like if I give it a shake, it'll fall right off. That's a little annoying. I won't ever display him without it, but uh, I just kind of wish that was a little better. Here we go, let's take a closer look at him. Here's the box art, the card. If you want to read it, you can probably, what, pause it. It basically says, powerful sorcerer Kent Nielsen wears the helm of fate and sees the fate of all mankind for better or worse. Well, let's just take a look. There is the helmet of fate. Get a close look of those eyes. It's pretty awesome. Let's take a closer look. McFarlane's going to knock it out of the park. I got a feeling. Here's some of the arm details. You can tell that it's supposed to be like an under. I mean, let's take a look. Like here's leather. Okay, let's start here. First you got your pants, then you have an undercoat, and then there's like a blue kind of leatherish looking thing, then a brown, then you have the gold belt, and then a baby blue, then a dark blue, and then like a black, and all that detail on there. That's, that's pretty good. I mean, like I said, I'm a big fan of McFarlane toys. And they didn't let me down here. Here's the cape. 
it's kind of a, it still has material. You can see that it's like a goldish sheen to it. I mean, maybe like a wash or something would have been really nice on this. Cause all that gold does look a little plasticky. That'd be my only complaint is I wouldn't mind a little wash on it. And he's got, of course, you know, you gotta go all out. You know, knee pads gotta be assembled on it and everything. Here's the shin guards. Again, maybe paint some of these individual things black or, you know, like I said, a wash to break up some of that goldish plastic looking. We do have a toe on him. We got a ankle, knee, and has the pins. I know some people aren't fans of the pins. Um, as far as the arm goes, spins all the way around, butterfly up, that's about as far as he goes. He's got a crazy ball on the wrist. I kind of wish I didn't see that. That kind of bothers me a little bit. Not a big fan of that big ball there. And there he is. Dr. Fate in all his glory. And the other thing that was weird was they always give you these stands. And I was looking for it. And I didn't even realize. But check this out. As you can see, you see Dr. Strange there. He is... um. He is, I have a plastic thing that kind of has him flying in the air. Well, look what they did here at McFarlane. I noticed this was different. I didn't even know this was like this. You just click this little thing into place and he comes with his own stand. How cool is that? Like, I'm very impressed with that. I mean, I had one if I needed it, but. So there he is. And his kind of, we'll do it like the box art kind of does. And let's just take a look here. There he is. The two magic users of DC and Marvel. They are really cool. If you love magic and, and your comic books, you can't go wrong with this. Very impressed with both of them. Let me see if I can have a little stand here without causing some kind of mayhem so you can kind of see them a little bit better. Who mayhem is about to be caused. Wasn't really planning on this. But you can kind of see him floating in the air a little bit. This one I have over here is, I hope he's higher in the air, but it's way flimsy. This is pretty sturdy. Like he's not high in the air, but he doesn't want to move. If I show you this one, and that thing, woo, look at that. You walk by it, it'll, it'll do that to you. Well, all right, guys, here it is. Let me know in the comment section, which one do you think is would win in a fight? Do you like both of them? Do you think one of them is not as good? And uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I got a few more McFarlane toys and then I might be done with McFarlane. There's a few more I wouldn't mind getting if they ever come out. Um, but thanks for watching, guys. If you like what you see, please hit the like button and uh, let me know if there's anything else you want me to review. Have a great day.